His Facebook status spoke for him. Single, it said. His heart had scars where sutures and stitches mended that shredded silk he called love. You see, he wore his heart like cufflinks on his sleeve, and upon seeing the gold lining on his wrists, harpies, ladies, circles, and uh, circled and descended on the prey that was his affection. But he couldn't fight it. His heart was a red cross on a hospital building, a sign saying he was open to any and to all, a sign that said he was always willing to help. Help. He wanted help. His silk cloth love had been torn in two. The loves of his life had pushed him to love his country. Fire to fire, he decided to fight pain with pain. He wanted to be wanted. And his scream, and his sign screamed, we want you. He enlisted, see the world, where the song of the sea would substitute songs of sirens and mermaids and become the sweet music to the ears of his still screaming heart. Years of servitude and silence changed him to a shadow, a shade of his formal, former self, releasing all his inhibitions. He became a king without his queen, Batman without Robin, Beast without his beauty. Oh my God. Oh my God. He was married to his work, a fine mistress, always with him, never leaving his side, always with him, till death do they part. He loved her, and she proved her love with, for him. Like every other woman he ever loved, she took his life, she took a knife and twisted a stray bullet through the heart he didn't ha think he had. And in his last dying breath, in the ringing in his ears, he heard his heart in, this, in his heart, the song of his mistress, and with a backup siren singing, Dear John, I don't love you anymore. Oh. <laughs> Give it up again, you guys. James Bean.